Okay, so when we talk about the funnel, this is when you're talking to a client when you either when you first meet them or you're in a monthly check-in, right? So you always want to do the future first. Talk about the future first. This is big picture, right? You start here and you start to funnel in. Get them excited about what they want to achieve, right? Um, it doesn't it doesn't matter what they've done up until now how successful or unsuccessful they've been in the past five years five minutes even five seconds because right now you're gonna give them a change we're gonna change direction right so we want to know what their future is that is compelling them to reach it right so uh, big difference in goals right between a push goal and a pull goal a push goal is like you're using willpower. It's like it's a struggle. I gotta push myself to reach this goal. But a pull goal, I'm not pushing myself anywhere. I'm just standing here and I see this goal and it's so compelling. I want it so badly that I just feel like it's pulling me toward it. It's a slight distinction, but over the course of three months, six months, nine months, a year, a couple years, it makes a huge difference because the push goal is going to drain you. It's going to make you feel like you're mm -hmm. killing yourself. The pull goal is going to feel inspiring. Every time you think about it, you're like, yeah, I can see it. Right? So that's the future. Get the client into their goals. Talk about how much time they have to reach their goals. And talk about their motivation for wanting to reach those goals. So motivation is, is, is the key. That's the why. And you always want to start here, too. Because the why is going to change. So 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I, my goal was to get as fit as I can because I want to play uh, semi-pro basketball in Europe. And I wanted to do that because I just thought it would be a cool thing to do. Right? Now, the, the cool thing to do, that's, that's what's pulling me. So that didn't have that much pulling power. It had enough to sustain me for a couple of years. I got in really good shape. But it kind of fizzled out. Okay, my goal now is to get in good shape, not necessarily the best shape of my life, but I want to be balanced. Uh, I want to be a, an example, a role model, and I also want to stay healthy in the process. I don't want to miss, uh, you know, months of training from injury. I also don't want to hurt myself because then I can't pick up my kids and stuff like that. So it's the fitness goal. There's a business development goal that I have. But anyway, the, what I'm getting to is the reason why. So now my reason is to uh, be a, a good father for my family, for my kids, to be there for my wife, to provide for the family. That pull goal, that pulls me so much, way more than that, than that goal of playing professional basketball in Europe. And a lot of that is what we value and things like that. So all of this, this whole conversation could literally take... 90% of your conversation because you're getting into their mind and, and figuring out what drives them, right? Um, and when I say 90% of the conversation, I'm talking about a conversation that is about 15 minutes long, you know, when I have the free consultation. It's usually talking all about the future. I'm writing all these notes about what they want, what they want, what they want. Because then, now you go to the past. The reason we go to the past next is because obviously what they've been doing hasn't worked. Otherwise, they wouldn't be calling us, right? Or maybe it's kind of worked. Maybe parts of it have worked, parts of it haven't. So it's, it's on us, too, to figure out, well, what have you done so far that has worked? Like, when have you been successful, and how can we duplicate that? And then, what is absolutely just not working? There's, I think there's three or four distinctions. So, okay, so number one, it's, what have you been doing what have you been doing that you need to continue doing? Right? Maybe some habits that are really good that we need to keep. What have you been doing that you need to stop doing? And what have you not been doing that you need to start doing? So those three, those three things, uh, starting from the past and then kind of creating a bridge to the future of what we need to do. Actually, really more in the present. Then, okay, so now we have the future, what they want. We have the past, kind of the, you know, good and bad decisions they've made that have either taken them toward their future or taken them another direction. 
And then we have the present. This is where this is where the work happens, right? You can't work out in the future or the past. This is right now. So we create the split or the days, right? So the split is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Even though you know the Friday workout is technically in the future, we talk about it as if it's in the present because it's what we're working on right now. This is our current plan, right? And um, and their homework. So what they're doing in the studio, what they're doing at home, that's what we create from that. And this literally, I know with you guys today, because you're, you're still learning it, this took you most of the time. When I trained Aaron today, or when we talked about it, this took most of the time. This took a little time, and this took like a minute. I mean, I already, this was already formulated in my head, what we're going to do for the plan, by the time he got done with talking about what he wanted. Uh, plan, that, oh, it says plan. So you create the split and the homework, which is the plan. And then, and then it just funnels you in, and now today's workout. And then this really leads you to results. It's going to lead you to some kind of result. Now the key is, a month from now, you reassess. Because now, so let's fast forward a month, right? You still talk about the future. Okay, what do you want? Is it the same? Do you still want that thing? Hopefully it is. If not, then you just reposition. Then you can talk about the past, and now as a trainer, you're a part of their past. So let's see if what we've done in the last month actually worked. If it didn't, you just retool a little bit. More than likely, it'll be something like this. This is what I want. This is where I am. And for one month, you go like that. And then you reassess from here. You go, oh, we're going a little bit off, but we're still going kind of that direction. Okay, let's go a little more here. After another month, you reassess. Okay, let's go there. And it looks something like that. So, a straight line directly to the goal is very unlikely because from here, it's hard to see that, right? It's, it's hard to see all the different obstacles depending that come up. Depending on the up, distance. Depending on the distance, right? So, a good analogy for this, too, is like, uh, you wake up one morning, it's really, really foggy and rainy, and you decide to drive to uh, San Francisco. You can't see maybe more than 30 feet in front of you, but you know if you just keep focusing on that 30 feet, eventually you'll get there, right? So it's kind of the same thing here, and you know, you're navigating. The key thing here, and as trainers, I think this is absolutely crucial. When you get to this point, and you realize that you're pointed that direction, that you maintain the decision to reach your goal, but you change how you do it. So you can change your approach a million times. This is still your goal, but you just say, oh, I just need to turn a little bit to the left. And then you turn, oh, I went a little too far, so I'm gonna go back. This is still the goal, this is always your goal in your mind, but you just change how you get there. It's like if you're driving down the street and you see a detour sign, oh, dang, I can't go to the store anymore. I gotta turn around and go home. Nobody would ever do that, right? You just say, well, I just have to pick a different path, right? This path that I thought would be my path is not exactly the right path, so I'm going to have to go around. So that's it. That's literally as simple as you want to make it when you talk to a client. What, what do they want? What have they been doing up until now? And then you create the present plan.